Hello everyone. Today we will learn how to add the fire effects in the text. This is quite interesting tutorials. Please watch the all steps carefully. Do not miss anything. Also do not forget to subscribe to my channels for more videos. Let's jump into the tutorial. For this tutorial I have selected couple of images which we will implement to add the files around the text. Let's write something over here. Uh, um, Hodge, for example, centralize this text. Let me select the color tone from the fire to add the color on text layer. Uh, let me go with this color. Let me copy it and add it on text. Let's add the outline around the text too. Stroke, uh, I guess for five is better. Yes, red is okay. And okay. So just make sure the text is centered align. Now it's time to add the background layer. Let me change the name of this layer first to fire. Let's add one background layer over here. Let's put it black for time being and let's see. BG color. PG means the background color. Just lock it. Again select the text layer and add some effects on the text. Let's go with zigzag. Convert to smart object. So if you want to learn a difference between the smart object layer and the normal layer, please see my another tutorial and that is very useful. It will make your life easy if you are working in the Photoshop. Let me select this one now. Add some effects. Let me put a zero first and zero. Let me see. Uh, first, let me. I guess that's better. Let me select. Okay. Ah, yeah, that looks good. Now, go to the file layer. Let me see all those. Let me think which one I should first. first. Okay. Go to the channels, click on green. I want to select the highlighted area only. Just click on green. Do not copy it from this layer. Otherwise, it will go to the black and white. Let me copy and paste here and see what will happen. See, this is black and white. I do not need the black and white. I need the colored one. So click on the RGB after selection. Copy and paste on it. Let me, okay. Make a duplicate layer of this one and one more over there. Go back to the layer, merge them all together, disable them before making a mask. I want to add one more effect on the text. Let's click the text layer, select the mark tool from the toolbox. It is Disabled. Why? Because this is the smart layer. So it will convert it to the normal layer. Okay, let me click on it and click OK. I need it. It's OK for me. Let me increase the burst size. And then add some effects on the text. Uh, let me add more over here. So this was the purpose. I outlined the text See this when I'm trying to extend it is the red color Okay From O2 I guess this is okay. Let me add here too. So it will give natural effects of fire. 
okay this is okay now enable the fire layer click on your text layer again go back to this mask layer and click on mask okay now add more fire on it let's go to this uh, this one i guess click on the channel again go to the green layer select the highlighted area click back to the rgb copy it and paste it over here so this will be my background layer just move it to the background layer zoom out try to fit the fire on your artboard now it's time to change the background color so let me disable this unlock it and uh, click on a blending option so i will go with the gradient overlay let me select the color i'm gonna make it little darker this should be a little lighter and i'm gonna make it further darker i guess this is better okay and okay so this is something i'm getting right now this is quite striking i do not need it like this let me decrease the opacity fire bg fire background let me lock it let me lock it too let me go back to this one now go to the channels select the fire click on rgb layer and paste it over here so this is let me move it above the text layer yes that's better let me move it over here too let me merge the both layers and it's time to remove the unwanted area from the image yeah that's better yes let me reduce this size because i wanna work between those text now don't worry about those edges we will fix them after this okay now i'm going back to my favorite tool and adding the same thing which i have added before i'm just trying to make it natural as natural possible yes okay let me create an other text layer and move it above the layers and decrease the opacity i guess this is better let me add the more fire effects from here let me click on this layer and then no not this one let's try this one now yes that's better see this that's better much better because i'm getting those heating effects let me clone it and clone it and then merge all together reduce the opacity and remove those all effects hiding the text i don't need that 
Now, or we can do it with that way. Select the text and remove those. Select the text again and remove that area. So this is the way to add the fire effects. This is up to you. You want to put the more fire or you need little fire around the text. So I like it with that way. And here you go. This is how it looks like now. You can also select the different texture of the fire. You, if you want to make it more reddish, you can make it the more reddish. If you want to make it more striking, you can make it the most striking effects in the fire. So this is how we can add different type of fire effects on the text or if you want to add the text on some image or some shape, the method is the same. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please do not forget to subscribe for more videos.